Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. You can't be persuasive unless you can get past the barriers of how people's brains actually work. So here are three tips to do that this week. First, know that people's brains cannot process more than four chunks of information at one time. So we're talking about four to ten words. Now that you know this, what this asks you to do is speak slowly, speak briefly, and speak warmly. This appeals to people on a molecular level, increases the chances that the messages that you share will actually get through to them. Tip number two. They've done studies, and a week later, after people have had an experience of you, they will remember 20% of what they saw only 10% of what they heard, but frankly, 90% of a situation where they were engaged with you, where they were speaking and listening and learning with you. Which means that whenever you're having a conversation with anybody, whether it's a presentation or whether it's something informal, do things that engage them with you. Don't just stand there and be a talking head, because otherwise they're going to forget most of what you say. And persuasion bite tip number three. This is how your brain works. For the first seven seconds that you meet anybody new, your brain cannot focus on these people. Because have you ever had that experience where you introduce yourself and you ask that other person's name, and literally a couple of seconds later, you cannot for the life of you remember what it was that they said, and you're trying to cover your tracks for the next conversation that you have with them. Here's a scoop. Do some idle chit chat. So is this the first time you've ever been here? Or that's a great looking tie. Give yourself that seven seconds to focus on that person. And then when you ask his or her name, your brain is now focused. You've just increased the chances that you will remember that person's name. And frankly, that he or she will remember your name as well. Once again, if you want to persuade people, you have to connect with them. And to connect with them, you need to know how their brains work. So go out this week and use one or all three of these tips, because when you do, you'll become the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.